Hey guys, it's Carrie. Sea turtle. There are seven existing species. The green sea turtle, loggerhead, Kemp's Ridley, Olive Ridley, Hawksbill, Flatback and Leatherback Sea Turtles. Tortoise. They have a more rounded and dome shell than turtles who have a thinner, more water dynamic shell. Tortoises spend most of their time on land and turtles are adapted for life spent in water. Tortoises use olfactory cues to determine the sex of other tortoises so they can find a potential mate. They're rather restricted by their shell and short limbs and short neck. In both combat and courtship, tortoises use ramming to communicate with other individuals. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Oryx. Both males and females possess permanent horns. The horns are narrow and straight except in the scimitar oryx where they curve backwards. The horns can be lethal. Oryxes have been known to kill lions with them. Newborn calves are able to run with the herd immediately after birth. Flamingo they are social birds living in colonies of sometimes thousands. This helps in avoiding predators. Spoonbill. They are a group of large, long-legged wading birds, which also includes the ibises. Giraffe. They can sit down, but it makes them very vulnerable to predators. A giraffe can kick in any direction and in a manner of ways. And its kick can not only kill a lion, but has been known to decapitate one. In the flat, open, dry savanna plains of sub-Saharan Africa, roaming giraffes quite often get struck by lightning and die. When it enters the neck, around 30,000 amps of energy surges through the body, singeing fur and causing the heart to beat itself to death. The only significant predators of giraffes are lions and they will always look for the young and the weak giraffes first. Tiger. To increase the chances of conception, the male and female tigers will mate frequently. Over three to four days, tigers can mate anywhere from 200 to 250 times and sometimes it can be as frequent as every five to seven minutes. This is facilitated by the baculum bone in the penis. Once the estrus cycle begins, she may begin to make vocal cries to attract nearby males. The male sniffs her genital area to know when she is receptive. When a male arrives, a courting process starts. Copulation requires the tigress to assume a vulnerable position. She lies on her belly, presenting to him forelegs fully extended and hind legs partially bent. The male mounts her from behind in a knees bent position. He also grabs hold of her loose skin folds on her neck to help immobilize her. Toucan. Their 20 centimeter bill is 
the longest bill of any bird in the world in relation to their body size. It is very light and made of keratin in a honeycomb-like structure, so it's not very strong. Rhinoceros. What all rhinos have in common are one or two horns, a broad chest, thick skin, poor eyesight, excellent hearing and a fondness for rolling in the mud. Their thick skin acts like protective plating but is sensitive as the blood vessels are close to the skin surface and can easily be scarred. Rhinoceroses soak in mud or roll in dust as protection against sunburn and insect bites. And this is the Sumatran rhino. Because rhinos are very nearsighted, they often charge when startled. In the wild, rhinos have been observed charging at boulders or trees. This defence mechanism has given them an undeserved reputation for having a bad temper. Their ears can move independently of each other. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read your comments and will always reply to you. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video. I've decided to add four of my jumbo lions. Lion, they are apex predators with a strong compact body and powerful forelegs, teeth and jaws for pulling down and killing prey. When a lion is angry or feeling threatened, it will sweep its tail from side to side. If it is hunting, it will keep its tail stiff and twitch it from time to time. It is much more serious if it is actively hunting you. Males will fight to the death to prevent other males taking over their prides. When there is a successful takeover, the newly victorious males will often kill the offspring of the former male or males. Lionesses will on occasion fight to the death to protect their cubs. Thanks for watching. Bye.